Hi everyone, Bandana here. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the Warno League. Today we are in Division 1 with Stal and a wooden box. A wooden box, a friend of the channel. He has his own YouTube channel where he does quite a few guides for the map editor and he also streams over on Twitch, so remember to check him out. Stal obviously is another player who joins us a lot on our Warno evenings when we're doing 10v10s and things and he often joins in these tournaments, so he likes a bit of 1v1ing as well. He usually is the best player in our 10v10s, go figure. Today we have a wooden box playing over on the left in blue as the second Panzer Grenadiers. And over on the right in red we have Style playing as the 8th Infantry Division. They played two games, we will have them both back to back. Admittedly the second game is a little bit shorter, you'll probably tell by the time you get there, so I'm not spoiling anything. But let's start with what is going on in this game and see what Style has down. So we got a couple of snipers out front here. Where are they off to? One is coming up to this tree line here and one is going into this tower or silo. Good viewpoint there. Got a few units back here. We got a Cobra, which is heading up to the front of Oscar. We've got a Command, which is going to Papa and then up to Oscar. And what else have we got here? We have just some Rangers and some Rangers Dragon heading into Oscar there. Okay, so not too much going in there. Obviously, not expecting Box to charge in there. Over at this side, we have the Mech Rifles Dragons. We've got an Ito. We've got some Fighting May T4, a Mech Rifles Law, an M60, and another Command. Command going straight in the back of here, and everything else kind of spreading out. Over the other side, obviously, there are forward deployment troops to worry about. FS Jäger Alf Clara heading up to just this point here, really not pushing Oscar. That's quite standoffish. In fact, that's very standoffish, I think. Uh, some Fulcrum Jäger, obviously, heading up here into Zulu. We've got a Fulcrum Jäger and a Fulcrum Milan 2 heading up this way. We've got some Jäger Alf Clara. At the back here pushing up but not too far not too far got a looks heading around this way very much defensive positioning on zulu at the moment so having a look over this side we've got another Jäger of clara which is going up this way to hold that area we have a flieger force and a command heading around this way to grab x-ray and at the back we've got a bit of a mixture of stuff so we've got some flieger force we've got the jaguar 2 We've got some Marder 1A3s with Panzer Grenadiers in there. We've got a Leo 1A101, or two of those even. And we have another command, the command going to Alpha and then up to there. So majority of both players' forces heading towards Zulu and Lima and then a smattering elsewhere. Let's get this show on the road. I don't want to spend too much time joining on it, but obviously there have been some changes to this map in the release version of the game couple of adjustments to the size of the zones as you can probably see just slight adjustments nothing major just little shape changes and things and then a couple of different paths and roads and obviously removal of a lot of tree lines here there used to be trees all the way up here and all of that's being cleared out quite a lot let's get this on the road i'll switch over to the controller and we'll see where we get to with this game Oh, two F-16Cs out at the back there for Stal. Obviously worried about helicopters or enemy jets at the start there. Not that I would expect too many choppers from the second Panzer Grenadiers in the grand scheme of things. But always good to have a bit of cover. Neither player with a significant amount of air defense at this stage. I mean, there's a few Flieger Force over on the side of a wooden box, but not going to scare the F-16s too much. Obviously, if he's seen those F-16s, Box may well call in a fighter jet to deal with them or some more ground AA. I'm just going to spin us round, so we're having a look at it from Stahl's point of view. I just want to see if we do see any anti-air coming in. It's possible that these F-16s just haven't been spotted yet. I don't anticipate that there's going to be any major opening battles here. As I noted, everything's looking very defensive at the moment. We might see a little bit of skirmishing at this side, as I'm sure Box will want to slowly push forward. But the other side of the map, I think, is going to be pretty quiet. So we will just hover here for a short time. 
More Leo 1A1A1s coming in for a wooden box at the back there. Is that two or three? Two and another Flieger Force coming in. And another Marder with some Panzer Grenadiers. What have we got coming in for Stahl? And Abrams. Probably a good choice. Something to help deal with those Leo 1A1A1s. F-16's nearly out of fuel now, but I guess they've kind of served the purpose. Does mean, of course, that purchasing two F-16s right off the bat, Stahl has less on the ground. If I just grab one of those, if I can grab them. There we go. 210 points. That was 420 points of the opening points spent on those aircraft. That's a lot of points. 1,500 points you get. So... 420 points of that went on those two aircraft. That's meaning a lot less on the ground. Which is kind of represented quite well here because there just seems to be a lot more blue at the front line. Do you see that there is some proper anti-air on the way in there? For a wooden box at the top of the map. Two Ihawks, no less. So, really not wanting to deal with too many aircraft. That's, uh... I didn't expect two IHOCs. I thought it might call one in. Looks like Box is settling in to lock things down. And get ready to push this side, maybe. A little bit of skirmishing going on at this side in the tree lines. Now, as you'll notice, that's the other thing that's changed here. A lot less trees at this side. Do you remember you used to be able to kind of just pile drive all your units along this side through the tree line? And a lot of it's gone now. There's plenty to hide in, but certainly it's not like it once was. And there's a gap here, so you can see if anyone tries to push right around this side. That Pua fire team is getting absolutely wrecked by the Marder's autocannon. The Dragon, obviously, not quite as effective with its machine gun. I don't know what it is, but right now it does feel like it's a little bit thin on the ground for Stahl. Got a Cobra coming around the side here. Should be able to help with these infantry in the tree lines. As there's no anti-air near enough to engage the Cobra at the moment. But, oh, F-16 comes in. Oh, and it gets the kill. A little bit of fire from a martyr there. And the F-16 gets the kill on that chopper. That's an unfortunate loss. Jaguar 2 there gets a nice hit on the Abrams. The Abrams is badly damaged and does have to smoke off. M60 there also has to smoke off in the center of the screen. It's not going to win against those Panzer Grenadiers in a tree line. It needs to back out. A little bit of a rough opening. Oh! Heavy artillery in for Box. Hitting that Ihawk immediately. That's an M110, so that's not, that's not a small shell. 203 millimeter. That's why the explosions were so big. Very nasty. Box is starting to make a move now. Moving up those vehicles. He's got plenty of them. That's a lot of decent fire support. Leon 1A1A1s. Plus all the auto cannons. Obviously will tear apart infantry. Stahl would need a good multitude of tanks to be able to take these out at the moment. The dragons will help. But one dragon versus all that isn't going to make a huge difference. MW1 there, looking for some kills on infantry. Coming in towards this tree line. This is going to be quite nasty. Yeah. That was very nice. Very nice. I wanted to zoom in quickly, so I used the mouse. Very nice drop with that Tornado IDS. Another tail Cobra in. I'm just wondering what Stahl's going to do here. He's not in a great position already. Though, interestingly, 
A wooden box has pulled all of his vehicles back. I didn't really think he lost much there. But uh, obviously he feels he's done enough damage. I'm surprised he's not pressing his advantage though. I know his Leos are a little bit damaged. Another M1A1 Abrams has arrived at the front here. Another dragon went down there, the M113 dragon specifically. Not looking great for Stal, but that M1A1 is holding. Oh! Ito gets killed. That artillery is a real nuisance right now. Oh, I like this. Fliegerforce called in to stop any helicopters going around the back to kill that artillery. That's very good tactic. Not everybody does it. Obviously, it's an expenditure. It means you have less units at the front. So if that never happens, then they're a bit wasted. But uh, on the off chance, someone does try to get around the back with some helicopters. It's good coverage. I was just wondering what was happening on the other side, but not much at the minute. Just some rangers shifting about. I don't think that ranger squad is going to do much on their own. F-16's coming in here. This is... Wow, where are they going? They're just charging straight across. Oh! Good hit from the Eyehawk there. Does this get out intact? That is a very lucky F-16. That is a very lucky F-16. That could have been a wasted 210 points there, getting that far forward. There is a little bit of skirmishing on the other side now, if you just see at the top of the screen. The Ranger's Dragon engaging the Jaeger Alfkull. The Jaeger Alf Clara. Some more Rangers heading in there, and something else is being called in. We could be seeing a bit of a pivot to this side for Stahl to try and distract, but... Box is already bringing in reinforcements at that side. But just looking at the map right now, if we turn it around so how the side look, there's a lot more blue than there is red. It's going to be massively down to the M1A1 Abrams and how strong they are compared to the Leo 1A1A1s to hold back the tide of vehicles that Box has here. Another Tow Cobra at the far side there. We'll need to be careful with that because, again, there is a Fleeger Force over that side and another one on the way in. Box was very careful at the start to make sure he had a few Fleeger Forces in. So he had some coverage against helicopters. The artillery harassment is spot on from a wooden box in this game as well. Keeps going anytime he sees something. Obviously... The two or three shells do a lot of damage to tanks as well. So. I'm surprised to be honest. Box hasn't been a little bit more aggressive here. He does significantly outnumber. Stahl realistically at the front lines here. Though the distraction is perhaps working. The engagement is starting at the other side. Though. Again Box has quite a bit over there. I'm going to whiz us over there for a quick look. But I think... I mean, the Cobra is in a nice position at the moment to be able to provide fire support. The Jäger of Clara will die. Cobra, unfortunately, is spamming off its missiles at the Iltis rather than any tanks. F-16AA coming in for that Tow Cobra. The Flieger Force are firing at it as well. I think that Tow Cobra is very lucky it managed to dodge both missiles there. Surely the Flieger Force gets a kill here. Oh, it dodged that one as well. And <laughs> that one. Tow Cobra. Somehow surviving all of this. F-16 against F-16. Both take damage. Boxers goes down. Does the other F-16 get out? It does. The IHawk wasn't in range. These infantry, though, are not looking too hot here for Stahl. Obviously, the Leo 10101s causing issues. The Rangers could take them on if they can get up close and personal. Rangers there only have a law, so it would need to be a side shot, preferably. Tank is in here now, and a couple more units being called in there. Some Bradleys. Over at the other side, ongoing skirmishing here. 
Stahl's being quite aggressive, and in some ways it's stopping a wooden box pushing. He's just poking out, but those Milan 2s and things are doing a lot of damage to the M1A1s. The M1A1's obviously the stronger tank in these fights at the moment, but it doesn't mean much if there's a lot of ATGMs there. And the lack of artillery from Stahl means he can't really counter those sort of well-positioned ATGM launches like this Milan 2 here. If we click on it and just see where it can see, it's got perfect range over here and the entire middle of the map. That's really good coverage. Again, box pushing out at this side now with those vehicles. Plenty of marders there. That's a lot of firepower. Quite a lot of infantry at that side as well for box. Jet coming in from Stahl's side. I don't know what it is. Laser guy to bomber. Laser guy to bomber that is very lucky it didn't get shot down there. I think he got a Jaguar 2 with it. Feels risky bringing in a laser guided bomber just to kill a Jaguar 2, but I guess it defends the M1A1. I'm a little bit worried about this M1A1 that's coming in here, very close to these infantry. It has stopped short of them. That could have been very nasty. He's reversing it now. But if he'd driven past those infantry, he would have got side shot. Tow Cobra flittering around the back here. What's happening at the other side? We kind of left that. Rangers did go in, but got shot up a bit on the way. Doesn't look like he got any tank kills over there. Still looks like there's a lot of blue, but Stahl is holding. 26 minutes left of the game. Artillery's been quiet for a while from a wooden box. Some mortars coming in for box now, though. Could be planning to either just harass or even smoke with those to be able to move up infantry. A little bit more skirmishing at this side with those rangers, but the rangers are significantly outnumbered in the grand scheme of things. They're very good squads, but uh, there's a flamethrower squad there as well. Oh, good fire support at this side, though. Nice hit from the Abrams there on the Leo 1A1A1. Not quite the kill in one hit, but plenty of damage done. Box is just sort of edging forward more and more. This M60 is doing a good job of fire support, taking out those Pioneer Flams. The Rangers still surviving here. Mech rifles up in this town now, right in the face of a wooden box. Helicopter at this side, another Cobra in, providing fire support. Fliegerfrost is there, is firing back but misses. There is a Gepard at the back though, the Gepard will cause problems. Cobra is routed, will no longer respond to commands. Down it goes as the Fliegerfrost gets a final hit. Over at the other side... F-16C has come in, but that's taken out by the F-16A. Still some skirmishing over here. It's providing a good distraction. Box is having to bring in reinforcements over there. But uh, Stahl's not going to make much movement. Stahl did lose his units that he pushed into this town in Zulu, but... Uh, in the grand scheme of things, he did well to get there. He's been pretty aggressive here. Can't imagine he's going to drive a command in there anytime soon. He has also managed to clear this area and get some of his infantry in there. So while Stahl's moving up this side, Box is kind of moving up that side, but he's lost a lot of his units that were here. The M60 and the Cobra that came in really did a lot of damage. As great fire support for the Rangers. And the distraction at the other side has meant that there haven't been as many reinforcements coming in here for a wooden box. Mac rifles dragging out there on their own again, though. Not ideal. 
Panzer Mortar just dropping some harassment shells on those infantry. Might not kill them, but certainly panic them. Dragon over here doing some damage. They're taking a lot of fire from the Leos. There's a Leo 1A5 in there as well. And 1A1's pushing up. Great fire support. Hitting the pioneers in those buildings. Here comes the MW1. Oh, three squads of infantry annihilated. And there's no anti-air at this side to take that out. And there's still an F-16 in play. Still that badly damaged Leo here. Another one that's full health. Not too scary for the Abrams, but you wouldn't want to get a side shot or a rear shot. Because the Abrams will still take a lot of damage in that situation. The other side from the mini-map has been cleared up now. Spinning around just for a quick look. Yeah. Stiles pulled all the way back. And as you can see, all the reinforcements now for a wooden box are coming in to this point. 22 minutes left of this game. I mean, Stiles doing a great job of just doing some clear-up. The artillery is firing again. Has done some damage to the M1A1 at the right-hand side there. A couple of part 1A1s coming in. Those are anti-tank choppers with the Hot 2 missiles. Hot 2 is pretty effective. Basically like a Milan 2. We'll do a lot of damage to those Abrams. There's an Eyehawk in now. Some short range anti-air might come in handy against those par 1A1s. Good clearance here. Look at Stal go. He is being very aggressive in this game. He's doing a very good job. I honestly thought he was going to struggle early on. And Box might just wipe him out very quickly at this side. But uh, Stal held. And he's pushing. Obviously, he needs to be very careful with those Abrams. They are his big advantage here in the grand scheme of things. Let's have a look at it from Boxer's side. Obviously, Stiles units just look very much more spread out. We can see that the front of this is kind of cleared now. All this side's cleared. Those buildings are cleared. Stal is making progress. Slowly but surely. 20 minutes left of this game. Again, great artillery use though. Exceptional artillery use by a wooden box. Look at this, straight on top of that hemmet. It'd be lucky for that hemmet to get out alive here. Stinger's being called in now to deal with these helicopters. Looks like one helicopter just went down. And that was from the stinger at the front here. Oh, look at this. Very cheeky. Heading right over to this side so you can fire at infantry here, I think. Yeah, look, the engagement has started. Look, that's great positioning by Box. Great positioning. Obviously, the fire team 84 can't really engage those vehicles from there. But they gave away their position when they opened fire on the Pioneer Flams. Other side of the map, all quiet. You can see a Lux there charging along this road. Box just having a sneaky look around, I think. Plenty of armbrusts coming in here. Light anti-tank with that armbrust. Only 13 pen, but good rate of fire. Can be quite threatening to tanks and vehicles up close in a forest. A little bit stalemated right now. The other chopper goes down. Oh, Stinger there. Getting taken out by those Leo 101-01s. I think it has just gone out of dodge. M1A1 and the M11A3 Dragon in a nice position there. Pushed a bit further forward. 
Infantry not looking so hot in the tree line though, once again getting pummeled by these vehicles. Artillery comes in, gets a kill on the M60. Might get a kill on the Ranger as well there. Oh. Jet flying past there, yeah, laser guided bomber goes down. Don't think you get it shot off. Expensive loss. And a wooden box has held. There's a good push by Style, but he has had to pull back again. Losing some forward units there. The M1A1 Abrams did survive that engagement, though. Probably the most important thing to keep alive. There's a Leo 2A3 on the way in at the back now for a wooden box, though. We've got some Jaguar 2s coming in as well. He really wants to deal with those M1A1 Abrams. They are the big thing that is protecting a wooden box. They're the thing that is protecting Stal right now. Nice artillery use. Look at that. Nice. Artillery gets a kill on the M1A1. Very nice there from a wooden box. As I say, this is what he needs to do. He needs to kill those Abrams. If he can kill those Abrams, he can push. Those Abrams are literally the thing that is stopping a wooden box from pushing this side. There are more, though, at the moment. There's one over here. Well, you need to be careful of that ambrust. Two in the centre. One at this side. So he's lost one. But he's still got four more to play with at the moment on the field. Though the Leo 2A3 and the Jaguars pose a threat to that. I think Stahl just did a Q move. This is a lot of stuff moving in down here now. I think he's going for it. That is very, very risky, though. Just under 16 minutes left of this game. MW1 coming in again, going straight for those infantry that are already being pummeled here. Oh, two squads down. The M1A one's pushing really hard here. One at this side, badly damaged. Well, the M1A one taking good shots at the infantry. M1A one goes down. This is very much an all-in push, I think, here for Stahl. Tornado IDS MW1 takes a lot of damage. Does get out though. F16 comes in and gets the chopper at the other side. That's another Cobra lost for Stal. This is a rough push. Looks like Box is counter pushing. You can see all of his units moving up now. Oh, artillery straight on top of the Eye Hawks as well. Eye Hawk goes down. That's more than one artillery piece in now. Box is counter push. Kind of stalled actually. All of the units at this far side have been stopped. His infantry is still pushing in the middle, though. Do you see what I see? Top of the screen, Blackhawk with a Rangers leader pushing around the back. So this was going to be Stahl's cheeky attempt, by the looks of it, 
to get round the back and cap that back point. Maybe a little bit of an act of desperation. The issue is the Flieger forces are waiting. So I don't think it's going to get in there. I think it's going to get shot down before it gets anywhere near that point, but we'll keep an eye on it. <coughs> Stahl managing to hold here after even losing so many units. He's still got the Abrams in play in the center and one at the top of the screen there near the water. Where is that PAL 1A1A1 going? Is it spotted that or is it just... Could be coming around to get shots on the Abrams from the side. Flieger Force going for the Rangers leader. One hit. Kind of get another one before it lands. Down it goes. I was going to say that is exactly why the Flieger Force was there. As I said at the start. Stop any choppers going around. F-16C here. Being chased down by a tornado. Taking a lot of damage. It does get out just. Great artillery use by a wooden box though. He's just taking out unit after unit. Very nasty artillery pieces, the M110s. And Box is keeping those moving as well. He's not just letting them sit still. 12 minutes left, but I've got to be honest, it's not looking good for Stahl right now. He lost a lot of his pushing forces. He's got two Abrams left of the five he had. It's not ideal. Toe 2 is out of missiles. He's lost one eye hawk. There's another. Oh, there is another Abrams back here, badly damaged. Hemet being called in for that now. Box is pushing again now. Here come the vehicles. The infantry are on the move as well. Still got units in the center here. Where is the Leo 2A3? I haven't seen that in a while. Jaguar 2 pushing out there. Looking for kills. Is that Abrams being spotted? No. No, no, no. I thought for a second that damaged Abrams had been spotted. There goes the tow 2. Artillery coming in that building once more. This has been some good back and forth here. And to be honest, I thought it was going to go very much the way of a wooden box early on. And Star was going to have a fight to get back in. But... Uh, there's been some good scrapping in this game. But I feel like Stahl is on the back foot now. He definitely doesn't have forces at the other side to make a push. And he's lost a lot at this side. Don't get me wrong, Box has lost plenty as well. But at the minute he's still managing to push with his infantry. Very badly damaged infantry, but he is still managing to keep moving. Artillery or mortars coming in on the Ito. Another Abrams was lost in that fight at this left hand side of the screen. One Abrams in the center, badly oh, half health. This one at the back, half health and getting repaired. Another Ito coming in. Lots of supply coming in for a wooden box now. Try and get everything repaired up. More Leo 1A1A1s coming in. And the Leo 1A1A1s can make for a fantastic push. So you see this in some games where people build up a huge amount of Leo 1A1A1s because they're really cheap. And then just pile drive them forward. And they're very hard to stop when you have a mass of them. Unless you've got a bunch of your own tanks that are stronger. And unfortunately for Stahl, he lost a lot of his Abrams. He does have another one coming in at the bottom corner of the screen here, which will be heading round towards the centre. And this one is almost repaired and heading back in as well. And that fight team 84 though, just not in a good position there. Marder really ripping it up. Holstrom Jaeger there getting a nice kill on the Akav.
You know, Star has managed to whittle down a lot of Boxer's forces, but he is really far back still. He's lost all his forward positioning here. Akav takes a Milan 2 to the side and goes down. Very thin on the ground right now. I don't think anything's happening at the other side of the map if we swing round. No, very quiet there. If anything, if anything, a wooden box is slowly picking stuff off at that side. So that side is not going well for Stahl either. And this is not looking great right now. Another Abrams went down at this side. There's one to the right, one in the center that's at half health still. It will need to be repaired. There's a Leo 2A3 command coming in at this side now. Look at all of this. That is a lot of Leos. 1A5s, 1A1A1s. They're all... Go oh, here we go. Oh, beautiful kill with that artillery. Finishing off that M1A1. That was the fully healed one that had just been called in. Seven minutes left, but I think this is over. Stahl is about to get trampled by all of those Leos. He doesn't have the infantry to stop this. He doesn't have the tanks to stop this. And the Ito, well, that's going to get artillery immediately, I would have thought. Box is just taking his time. With six minutes left right now, if Stahl could hold, this would force a draw. This would force a draw, though a wooden box is ahead with six. Six little points. Not enough for a win, but six little points. As I said, artillery straight on that building. Scouts annihilated. All of these tanks, Falstrom, Jaeger, and Jaeger of Clara coming in there down the middle. And the tanks are off, clearing up the mech rifle dragon. That M1A1 needs to run. There's nowhere it can really run to, but uh, it is surely going down here. Oh, artillery coming in it as well. Oh, down it goes. That was the last Abrams in play. There is an M1 Abrams command tank coming in at the back there. But that's going to do nothing against all of these tanks. Don't get me wrong. Boxer's tanks are taking damage, but he's just got so many of them. The artillery support as well will take out the Itos. A hard-fought battle there, though, guys. Good scrapping over this bottom area. And a good attempt at distraction at the top as well. Look at that. Stahl still trying to do something up there to try and throw Box off, but uh, it is what it is. Tornado IDS coming in to finish off those mech rifles. I'm not sure it's needed. But it is pretty at the end. Artillery in now for Stahl, but unfortunately... Not going to be useful against a moving target. Abrams command immediately goes down. Five minutes left of this game, but it's all over. All Box has to do is get that Leo 2A3 command tank in there, and that's it. And there's the surrender. Commiseration style, well played to both of you, though. That was a really good back and forth. By the end, obviously, a wooden box was ahead. He got a lot of M1A1 kills. Obviously makes a hell of a difference. Look at that artillery piece. Look at all those kills. Two M1A1s, Emmets, Toe 2s, I Hawks, I Toes. Where's the other one? Milan 2's got loads of kills as well. The 1A1A1s were doing well. There it is. I Hawk, Stinger, I Toe, and another Abrams. So those artillery pieces killed three M1A1 Abrams in that game. The Abrams were doing a good job. That's what I was saying. They're so strong compared to the 1A1A1s. If you can keep them alive and hold, they will defend. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, by the end, uh, they'd all been taken out. But well played, guys. Let's hop straight into game number two.
Welcome to game number two with style and a wooden box. A wooden box over on the left in blue once more playing as the fifth E. And over on the right in red we have style playing as the fifth Panzer Division. Been a while since we've seen this map. This is the new version of the map for the new release. We've got Foxtrot at the back here and we've got Charlie. The two points at the top are back. We've got Bravo and Alpha. The points down here have been removed, which is a bit of a shame. I thought they might leave these ones in and just add these back. And then we've got these points down here. Admittedly, the most important thing now is the top. Because you want to push through and take the other player's back point. Whereas there's no opportunity to do that anymore down at this side. So, it is what it is. Let's have a look at what Stal's got down again. So, we've got some fence there. Heading up to here, we've got a Jäger of Clara heading into the center. Another Jäger of Clara heading into these buildings here. And this one heading straight into Charlie. And then everything else, we have Fuchsman lands with Pioneer Arm Busts. Three of, two Leo 2A3s, two Roland 2s, and a Leo 2A3 command tank. Okay. Going straight in with the heavy commands. All pushing up around Alpha. Not being too aggressive here. No attempt to go for Delta. And no attempt to go for Charlie. Over at the other side. Similarly, there's nothing really going at that side by the looks of it. Eclairs heading up to here. And then the vehicle going down there. Very defensive in nature. Got some Dragon Powers right at the front there. One heading into here. One heading into these buildings. We've got an AMX-10. Or two of them, one heading into the middle, it's kind of just in the middle of nowhere at the moment, and one heading into that tree line there. And then in the back we've got Vabs with uh, Grenadier Voltigers. We've got some Mephisto, AMX 30B2s, Roland 3s instead of Roland 2s, and an AMX 30B2 Command, all piling into here. Let's get this show on the road. <coughs> As I say, this is a shorter game, so this might go one way or the other pretty early on. Any combat that's happening at the start is going to be down here. No aircraft out for either player as yet. But I expect all of the fighting to be at this side. Eventually, one player will try and take the what is now the top side of the map. Or they'll both attempt to take it, but... The focus will be here where we are looking right now. As far as stuff being forward goes, it's the Dragon Paras that are going to be the most forward deployed of any unit in this game. AMX-10, a good fire support. Very effective cannon for anyone who doesn't remember or is new to the game. 17 pen. Maximum range of 2275 and very accurate. Immediately, the Fensphere under attack by both the Dragon Paris and the MX 10. Honey Ambos dropping off there, and the Fuchs Milan. A MX 10 RC is now hidden in the tree line. Until it fires again. Fired at the Pioneer Arm Bust. Oh, nice HE strike there. Straight on top of the Leos. Oh, wow. That is devastating. Look at that. What a hit. I don't know if that was a targeted hit or what, but that is devastating. Immediately takes the Leo 203 and the Leo 203 command tank out of the game. They're going to have to retreat and repair for quite a while. That is brutal. That is absolutely brutal. Maybe we know why this is going to be a short game. Oh, wow. That is really, really unlucky. Box just has the complete upper hand now. The AMX 30 B2s can push ahead and nothing's really going to stop them. The other Leo 203 is already dead. Got caught in crossfire. Another jet coming in. An AT jet. Ooh. Was obviously looking to finish off one of those tanks. Does take a hit from the Roland 2. 
FF going in for the kill. Does he get it? I'm trying to speed around to see it. No, I think that... Oh, 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 it does go down, just. F4F not looking great either, though. The Roman trees are all over it, and down it goes. An eye for an eye and all that, but look at this. Box takes the point. And has killed pretty much everything that Stahl brought in. This is really bad. Over at the other side, a wooden box already getting himself in a position to take those points as well. Certainly taking the point in the industrial zone. So a quick look at that. And box being very aggressive at this side. We'll get back there in a second. But yeah, he's calling in infantry and a command for that point. And over here, he is pushing up. He takes out both the two A3s. The AMX 30 B2s have won. The command tank and the Leo 2A3 go down. That's surely game already. 36 minutes left. We're only four minutes in. But I don't know how Stahl gets back in this game. He has lost so much. A wooden box did lose his command tank at least. So he can't take the point. But that is very rough. Grenadier Voltiger is coming in. Pushing into these buildings now. That will make it even harder to control what's going on here for style lots of reinforcements coming in currently plus one to a wooden box style did manage to cap that bottom point though or the top point looks in there defending it now commandos being dropped off here though commandos will easily take out the egg of clara jet coming in at this side Mirage coming in for the Power 1A1A1. Why don't I want to call it a 1A1A1? It's because of the tanks, it's because of the Leos. Power goes down. Fuchs Milan goes. What? The Fuchs Milan went down behind it as well. Oh, the AMX 10's there. Oh, that is nasty, Box. That is nasty. That is very nasty. Very nice placement. Very nasty. Box seemingly in control of most of the map now. If he can get a command in that back point as well. Mirage goes in against the F4F. The F4F goes down to the Rolands again. The Mirage does get out intact. Poor style. All down to that HE bomber wiping those two tanks out the game at the start. Didn't kill them, but panicked them and took the health down to one each. One bar each of health is not good. Style moving in on the AMX 10RC there. It gets the kill on the Leo 1A5 though. That's just how strong those AMX 10s are. And Box is in control of the industrial area, as expected. Now on a plus two. Command is on the way in as well to take this back point. 33 minutes left. I'm not sure. Oh, AMX 10 finally goes down to the power 1A1. Roland 3s are being moved up, though. AMX 30 B2s are being moved up here. One of them on just one pip of health, but they will be very effective at taking out those uh, Pioneer arm busts if he can kill the Power 1A1. Than Mephisto at this side. Not sure if he'll be able to see the Roland 2 though. Yeah, AMX 30s firing at the arm busts there. Dragon Power is moving into position. The Power 1A1. Came forward. Roland 3 is on it. And it goes down. One hit, one kill. Only have a couple of points of health. Other side of the map completely controlled by Box. Realistically. He might not be in that back point. But there's like a Jaeger of Clara in the way. Box could certainly move one squad of commandos up that way. It looks like one Grenadier Voltage is already heading that way. Oh, Stal, that was so unlucky, but an amazing bombing run by a wooden box at the start there. Here comes that P4PC. 
to take the back point, and that will be game, I think. Once that's gone. I mean, the point's already gone, realistically. Good smoking by Box there as well. There's the command in the point. Might get taken out by the Fuxman land if it's not careful. No, it seems safe. Plus four. Well played, guys. Very well played to box there. Good positioning. Very, very nice at the start when it came to that bombing run. That was just devastating. Immediately, you could see that was a big problem. Jaguar HE coming in again. What is he trying to kill this time? He's going to land on those pioneers, is he? Yeah. That's going to be rough. Yeah, both squads. <laughs> and and they got the oh, 1A1 at the back as well. That is really rough. That is very rough. The Jaguar goes down. The Mirage trying to take out. That is a rough game. Plus six to a wooden box. That's very rough. Poor style. Oh, F4F comes out on top of this side. The push has commenced here though. AMX 30B2 is going in. Box is going to control the entire map. Good kill on the Gazelle Cannon, if nothing else. F4F. Oh, just in range of the Roland. Very lucky he does get. Oh, it's coming back around for another pass, though. Surely he should be evacuating now. Going for the Gazelle Cannon. I guess it's all or nothing at this stage, to be honest. Don't think there's much that Stahl can do, though. He just doesn't have the forces. Yeah, there's the Surrender. That was just really unlucky slash... Box got an amazing hit with those bombs at the start. That was devastating. Had it not been for that, those two tanks would have made all the difference. That was rough. That was very rough. Well. Well played to both of you. Thank you everyone for joining me. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all soon for some more Warner.